Hey everyone, Anthony Sequera here with Stormwind.com. You know, I was just getting ready for my upcoming eight session live online IPS 7.0 class. That's Intrusion Prevention Systems 7.0, our official training here at Stormwind.com for Cisco, for Cisco Systems. And it dawned on me as I was preparing this course that I get to teach something in session one that students of security technologies from Cisco really, really struggle with. So I thought I'd make a short video here and teach it to you. One of the things that students really tend to struggle with in IPS is this concept of how we describe whether or not an alarm fired in our intrusion prevention system environment and whether or not this is a good thing. So you can see here we have false positives, false negatives, true positives, true negatives. Students desperately need to know this for their real world intrusion prevention environments. And they also need to know this for the certification exam, for sure. Let me teach you just how easy this is to master. Yeah, it'll never be difficult for you again. You ready? Here's what you want to do. First of all, go to the second half of the alarm description. Start at this positive negative terminology, okay? This is very, very simple. Positive means an alarm fired. That's right. Positive means an alarm fired and negative means no alarm fired. Okay, so that's the first thing that we need to master. Positive, indicating that an alarm did fire. Negative, indicating an alarm didn't fire. Simple. Now, interpret the meaning in the first part of the descriptor. You ready? False is bad. True is good. Yeah, just think about lies, right? Falsehoods. We don't like lies. We like the truth. The truth is good. Lies are bad. So true is good. False is bad. And now you have it. Yes, indeed, you have it. Let's take an example. We have a true negative. Did an alarm fire? No. Was it a good thing? Yes, it was a good thing. So safe traffic, right? Non-attack traffic went through our intrusion prevention system. No alarm fired, and this was perfect. Another example? Sure, let's take a false negative, okay? Did an alarm fire? No. Was that a good thing? No, it wasn't. Uh-oh. So we had attack traffic come through our intrusion prevention system and no alarm fired. Wow. You know what happens when people over, like, really go crazy with intrusion prevention system? Yeah, they get a lot of false positives, right? They get a lot of false positives. Alarms fire like crazy, and it is not a good thing. And this means that their intrusion prevention system is going berserk, and it's throwing these alarms for normal, benign, safe traffic. So there you have it, folks. The next time you hear true negative, true positive, false positive, false negative, doesn't matter, you'll easily be able to interpret that from an intrusion prevention alarm perspective. Thanks so much for joining us in this stormwind.com training slice, a slice out of our upcoming intrusion prevention class. Have a great day.